Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tony. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Today we have a Mystery Box 75 unboxing. Uh, I'm trying a new camera holder here, so bear with me. Stay tuned and let's open this box. Okay, don't mind my fat gut. I've been waiting since December 15th for this. Uh, this is a 75 box. I'm expecting some good things. New cover. Just for the holidays, it's got some like LED lights and stuff on it. I can't be forever recording this video, but we'll get her done so I can get it uploaded hopefully before midnight. So it's still a Tackle Tuesday video. All right. What do we got in here first? Okay, so we have some 13 fishing. These are a big squirm with some black and blue flake. It's like a like a mondo worm. It's a twisty tail, 10 inch. Not too bad. Good for Texas rig. Uh, next up, we have the Vibrix caster. This is like uh, the Memsa Allegra Long. Uh, if you ever seen them, this is great for walleye. Uh, I can see probably pike or bass plate in this also. That's not a bad lure. I've had a few of them in the past. Next, we have the Rapala Shad Wrap. Or Shadow Wrap. This one's in like a perch. I'm uh, not much of a jerkbait fan. But I do know people who are. So even if I don't use it, someone else will. This is like an 11 foot lure though. Hmm. It goes down to 11 feet. Nice. Uh, next up, we have a punch jig. This is a finesse jig. It's in looks like green pumpkin. Um, these are great in the spring. Probably work also decently in the fall. This is in the half ounce. I didn't go check the prices just because I just literally got this. So next we have some Gamagachu five aught extra wide gap worm hooks it's nice to get terminal tackle and gamagachi is expensive so and this is five hooks not bad not bad at all it's it's nice to have some terminal tackle speaking of terminal tackle here we go again we have some vmc ringed hd wide gap hooks the only difference in these ones is that they have a, a tie ring to it, so you don't have to tie directly to the hook. It's like a slip ring. These are, are also 5 aught. You get 4 in this package. Not bad. Not bad at all. Also, nice to have terminal tackle. And we have some Tackle Depot Tungsten Skinny Drop, 3 eighths of an ounce. Got some Tungsten Drop Shot weights. Not too bad. Good for, well, it's terminal. And tungsten is expensive, so. Okay, so we also have some 5 8 ounce Tackle Depot tungsten, like, bullet weights. Great for the Texas where you're going to go with any of those VMCs or the Gamagachus. It's always nice to have some terminal. A lot of terminal in this one, actually. Speaking of terminal, here we go. We got some finesse hooks right now, right here. These ones are the Shaking Glide. So it's like a shaky head. Gama got you. You get three of them. They are one sixteenth. So one sixteenth an ounce. Okay, not too bad. So I'd throw probably um, 
like a TRD or a crawfish or something like that on that, personally. Next up, we have some Terminator. We have a big old friggin' or a big old spinner bait. This one's a half ounce. Nice color. Uh, does it tell you the color here? Hot chick. Okay. Not bad. I like that. It's got a willow and a regular blade on it. That's nice. These would be uh, good in the spring for pike when they start coming up through the uh, Kingston Mills. Next, oh, we have something in a baggie that's not a lure. Let's see what this is. Nice. So we have a face shield here. A neckerchief, whatever you want to call it. Snag proof. For fishing. Keep your neck and your uh, face from getting burnt. That's cool. Keep you cool also. I like that. Next up, we have some 911 baits. These are a 4 inch club. Just a little finesse worm. Uh, this would be great on that Gamagachu finesse shaky head. Or you can toss this on an Edrig even. Black with a chartreuse tip. Yeah, there's 10 of them in here, so it's a nice amount. I like that. Next we have some power baits. And uh, these are a flat worm. There's 10 of them. Uh, they recommend drop shot. These are just a little black flat worm. I'd probably toss some drop shot or Ned Rig. It's gonna it's gonna move pretty good in the water and it's Berkeley power bait, so the scent is probably on point. Uh, next we have some big baits here, they're power bait, they're Berkeley new, the hollow belly, big swim bait, wow, give these a try, how big are they, this is, five inches, not bad, Paddle is humongous. I like the fact that it gives you the option to use a, a, a treble hook on the back also. That's nice. And last one in the box. We have a 13 Fishing Magic Man M. This looks like it's in a sexy shad color or blue shad. Two and a half inches, it's a half ounce weight. And it's in fantasy shad. Fantasy shad. Alright, that's not too bad. That's that's it. No stickers. Hmm, kinda bummed about that. But uh, altogether, it's not too bad. It's it's winter here. It's, there's lots of ice outside. Uh, you people down south, I'm sure you're having a blast still fishing. Uh, there's not much open water, if any, right now here. Uh, I did pick up an ice fishing pole. I'm going to possibly try ice fishing this year and see what we can't get maybe on the Cataract Way to St. Lawrence or somewhere in the area. Uh, but... Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, comment in the, the, in the comments. Uh, I'm trying to build my videos back up. It's been a while. I'm sorry. Um, it's just been tough. Lots of stuff going on this year. Um, 
Hoping to do better next year. I got uh, getting a better camera, one that hopefully won't die so often. And uh, well, until next time, I'm Donnie. This is uh, Bradshaw's If Door. Stick with me. Stay tuned. And yeah, <laughs> um, I suck at this. See you next time.